rescue, repair and regeneration is based around a new paradigm within medicine, which is the possibility of restoring an organ as a consequence of disease. So can we actually turn back the clock in terms of before that person was suffering from a particular disease? And the way we do that is by looking at the potential of cells in terms of replacing what has died. So this whole concept of regeneration is a new paradigm. Instead of maintaining a person at a point in which a disease occurs or is, at, is found out, we try and actually restore that organ, restore that system, restore that person. For rescue, repair and regeneration, there's lots of work that's involved in that, as well as the stem cell work that we're using, uh, where we're trying to make cells in the retina to replace those that are lost due to disease. There are other forms of medicine where we're looking at the sort of genomic side of medicine, where we're looking at things like CRISPR editing, antisense oligonucleotides and things like that, which can help people with um, genetic forms of, of sight loss. So there's various aspects that we're working on here at the Institute um, to be able to, to help people to, to see again or prevent them from losing their sight in the first place. The major task in identifying whether regenerative medicine is a possibility is to first examine the organ system, which for ourselves here at UCL Institute of Ophthalmology is the eye. So can we therefore locate the cells which are affected by whatever disease it may be, whether it's diseases at the front of the eye, in the cornea, or the back of the eye, which is what we would call the retina. And if possible, is there an opportunity to either stop the progression and restore those cells? And in restoration, does that mean we can actually put cells back as well? We also work well with the other theme leads. So, you know, part of our research is that, you know, we're trying to develop treatments for disease, but we can't do that without knowing the basics behind the disease, why disease is occurring in the first place. So we're working with other groups um, and other uh, themes to develop all the therapies and potential treatments um, that we're doing as part of our theme.